Hey guys, it's Amelia, and I will show you guys how to get candies in this Royal High 2021 update for those who don't know how to obtain them and what to do with them. So, right now, my world's a lot brighter because I just turned on a filter, and honestly, I like my world brighter. But, as you can see over here, where these other people are, you can bob for apples. Now, it's not the same as back then, where you could just walk into the stand and bob for them. You actually have to click on it. So, as you see, the first time I just bobbed, I didn't get any apples. But when you do get an apple, it will give you ten diamonds. Or, not diamonds, candies. I am so dumb. Okay. Let's see, yeah, we got one. See, you won 10 candies. And the second way of obtaining candies is going to the Wickery Cliffs area. And we're just going to turn on run. And we're going to follow this path. And as you can see, there are houses in the distance. And we can go trick-or-treating. Or you can press E, by the way. You don't actually have to click on it if you're a PC player. But if you're on mobile, you just click the doorbell. And, yeah, sometimes, uh, though, when you trick-or-treat, there will be, like, things that kill you. I'm not sure if they still have Slenderman, but last year, Slenderman would appear at the door and murder you. And, you know, you don't lose any candies or anything, I think. But all you do is get killed, and then, you know, you start from the beginning, and it's just annoying. But... There you go, two ways of how to obtain candy. I'm just going to trick or treat a little more and see if I can get murdered. I know that's such a weird thing to want, but like, so far, we aren't getting killed. And that's pretty good. I don't know how many candies I collected, actually, but I have quite a bit. We don't talk about that. And I think every candy you pick up on the floor is like only one candy, you know, compared to the apple bobbing. Let's see. Oh, no, I got candy. Okay, well, I I don't think I'll get killed yet. Like, it's really rare, but, you know, I think you'd rather not want to get killed. I swear my luck is either really good right now or something. Because, like, I'm not dying yet, and I want to be killed, which is really sad. But, like, oh, no, okay. And you have to actually go to different houses, because... Ready? It'll be like, I think I can try this house again in about another 115 seconds. And there's also different dialogues, I believe, and it's like, yeah. So I'm going to reset myself, and I will show you what you can do with these candies now that you've collected some. I forgot to mention there's a third way of getting candies. So if you go over here, yes, I'm going to show you what one of them is. The third way of getting candies is getting them from chests like these. So... If you click on the chest, they will give you a small amount of candy, but you know, it all adds up and it's something. And if you want to know where the rest of the chests are, you can watch my video on how to find all the chests. I will leave that in the end card of my video. So, yeah. So, um, you see this little booth here? Like, I've actually turned off my little settings here. It's a lot darker, but you see this is... The Gemma's Diamond Exchange. And so you can exchange your candies for a diamond or three. Lol, you can convert them. And yeah, it's like if you don't know what to do with your candies, you can convert them. And just as a joke, you know, because I have like 36,000. Wow, I could get. Oh my god, so many. But. Oh. I think I like left my like. <laughs> joins on or something by accident but whatever okay so yeah you can convert your diamonds and it automatically shows you how many so you know put in two put in six put in three put in nine you know you can do the math not me and then we can click on shopping what's going on with my sleeves look i got like ghostly sleeves okay we don't talk about that so we go shopping and if you see this how or the royal ween shop my bad um, you got the sets here, but on the very bottom, there's actually the candy store, 14 new items. So if you click on that, you can go through this list of accessories that you can buy with your candies. Now, I don't know how much it costs in total for everything, but I do know that if you 
don't have the new accessory set, all of them will cost around 47000 and that's quite a lot. <laughs> that's not including last year's items, by the way. That probably cost, like, over 100000 Yeah, that room is something. So, yeah. Or you could just go through the accessory tabs and go season Halloween, but I think it's just a lot quicker to go through home and click candy store. But there you go. That is how you can get candies and what you can do with them. I hope you new Royal High players will find this video helpful, and if you do, please do consider subscribing to my channel, turning on notifications, and leaving a like on the video. It would really mean a lot to me, as I want to reach 50,000 subscribers at some point. Probably before January, but that's like way too soon, but I just want it to happen one day. But yeah, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye!